Now we're going to discuss exponential and logarithm function. First, find the relationship between exponential and logarithm function. As we know, exponential function is in the form of a base to the power of x. So this base number a is a positive number where this number is not equal to 1. So the domain for this exponential function it will be the set of all real number because domain will depend of x value. So in the power of x, so this is the power position. It can accept any number. It can accept negative. It can accept zero. It can accept positive number. So that's why for exponential, the domain always negative infinity to infinity, which is all real number. But when we look at our logarithm function. Although our base is a, and then this is our x, but this x is not going to accept any value of x. We cannot put negative value for logarithm. So for logarithm, it always need to calculate where what this x always need to be greater than zero. It also cannot be log zero because log zero will be undefined. So for domain of logarithm, you need to calculate what's is uh, what's the wrong what's the log bring here the item the log bring here the x that bring here must be greater than zero. So actually exponential and log uh, they have the they're having the relationship. So when you want to log these indices the base of the indices will go to the opposite side, become the base of log. So this is how we change from exponential function to logarithm function. So the logarithm function that having the base e will be denoted by log e, or we will use natural logarithm, which is we write it in ln x. So when we are having a ln x, uh, when you unlock it, means you're having the base e shift back to the left hand side. Actually, it is e to the power of y equals to x. So this is how we change our logarithm to exponential and exponential to logarithm. So for here also, if you want to lock it, so when we have ln, when we lock it, log to the base e, it will be ln. So that will be the relationship between exponential and logarithm. We look at example. Change each exponential expression to an equivalent expression involving logarithm. So for the first question A, exponential expressions, which is 1.23 equals to n. So when you want to lock it, so the base of Exponential will go to the opposite, so 3 will be equal to log to the base 1 over 2 for n. So question b, e to the power of b equals to 9. So change it to logarithm, base e go to the opposite here, become log e, that's why we use ln to the value of 9. So always put bracket to indicate that this n is belong to log. This 9 is belong to this natural logarithm. For question C, a to the power of 4. So base of a move to the right hand side. It will become base of log for 24. 